Ready to Love Season 4. Joel said the reason why he said Kyra in that moment when Tommy was asking, who would you go home with? He said, I said Kyra because Vernice and I had a conversation last night and it didn't make me feel good. It made me feel some type of way. Then he said, when he had a conversation with Kyra, they had great conversation. It was great. If he had to make the decision on who he had to go home with, based on conversation, it would be Kyra. I think a lot of people miss that. And so in the in the comments and on Facebook and on Twitter, I'm reading a lot of women saying, so what? He didn't make him feel good. You're not just going to leave because of one. Five. And I am amazed, ladies. I am amazed that as women, we do not understand that we need to learn how to correctly speak to men. Okay. Uh, Mike Murdoch favorite wisdom teacher. I listen to Mike Murdoch just about every day. I love Dr. Murdoch because he's a teacher of wisdom. Mike Murdoch said, every man has a king and a fool inside of him. And the one you speak to is the one you get. Walk around the chair, Janice. Walk around the chair, girl. Every man, every boy, Every teenage male has a king and a fool. And it's the one you speak to you're going to get. How many of you ladies know we need to learn how to speak to men? If you are dating for marriage, you can't talk to them like we talk to each other. See, me and you, girl, we sit and we talk. Uh Uh-uh, you can't talk to men like that. I've even had girlfriends that are single moms talking to me about their boys. And I said, why don't you try this? Try respecting him and see why I have. Girl, what? He's a child, child. I ain't gonna respect him. I said, that's the problem. Because even little boys, respect is the air they breathe. When my husband speaks to little Michael, he gets down on one knee. He gets all the way down on one knee to come eye to eye with him and talk to him. And, and and ladies, the reason why we having a lot of issues with the men not being up to par, they didn't have men to pour into them. They pour mommy and mommy was all mommy poured into them. And, and I am one of those, those ladies that believe a mom, a woman cannot raise a boy child to be a man. You can raise him to be a male. But it takes a man to teach a boy how to be a man because we've never been men. We don't think like them. We don't talk like them. We don't understand like them. So he needs a man to teach him how to be a man. I told y'all, my little boy, he was three, three years old in preschool. And you know those big old doors at the, at the school, the preschool. And he would run. Mommy, don't you touch that door. I got it. I got it. And he get the door. You know, the big old door. You know, three, three year old weight. I don't know, 30, 40 pounds. He's pulling the door. I got it. I got it, mommy. I got it. Go ahead, mommy. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. And we went to Dunkin' Donuts one day. He's running. I said, Michael Scott, he said, no, I got to get the door. I got to get the door. The big old glass door. You know, the door of Dunkin' Donuts. Those are heavy. I got it. Go ahead, mommy. Go. Go, mommy. Go, Lexi. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Lexi. Got in there. Uh, and and I, I, older African-American man gave him a high five. I said, mommy, mommy. You know why? Because my husband taught him how to be a gentleman. This is how you're a gentleman. In school, he said, mommy, he said, daddy, I let the girls go first. We're standing in line to wash our hands and I let the girls go first because I'm being a gentleman. My husband said, yes, that's how you do it. I also shared about the lady who took out her eight-year-old son and gave him a card and said, huh, this is how you pay for dates. Pay for my dates. Pay for my dates. This is how you pay. 
And the little boy was crying because that's not how you do it. First of all, he ate. He shouldn't be thinking about no dates and how to pay for dates and all of these stuff. So I know some of y'all are going to be mad. But there's a difference between being an adult male and being a man. Okay. A man. Boys need a man to teach them how to be a man. I think I shared my father pulled me to the faith and he said, you're a little bit rough on the edges. He said, I noticed you ladies from the islands, y'all rough. Rough. He said, you can't, you can't talk to the brothers like that. They come up, they say they like you, can't be like, you know, I was, I was sharp with my tongue. Like, I ain't interested. In so he teach me, he said, this is what you say. Okay. So it is important, not Joel, not just Joel. You can take Joel out of the picture, okay? Because I think a lot of you guys are looking at Joel. Take him out of the picture. Take him out. Any man is a king and a fool. King, Queen Esther went before the king. Y'all know the story, one of my favorite story. The king was looking for a queen, Queen Vashti. He, she called Queen Vashti, and Vashti said, I ain't coming. Huh? Embarrassing that man, he had all his kingly friends and all the royal people, and she, he went to call for Queen Vashti and tell her, come on, so that all the people could see how beautiful you are. And she told him, tell the mess, tell the king I ain't coming. And the men of the kingdom said, uh-uh, we cannot have that. Because if your wife is disrespecting you, then it's only going to be a moment of time before our wives start disrespecting us. You need to get rid of her, divorce her, and you need to find a queen that is more great, gracious, excuse me. And so there was a decree to send out to look for virgins. Esther went in with a whole lot of girls and every, they had to be a year before they went in to see the king. Come on, somebody. Walk around the chair one more time. Glory be to God. A lot of y'all missed that. It took each woman a year before they could go meet the king. One year learning. This is how you speak to the king. This is how you serve the king. This is how you pour his wine. This is what you say. And the Bible says, all the ladies, when it was time to go before the king, they all chose what they think the king wanted. But the eunuch, God showed Esther favor, forgot his name right now. And she said to him, tell me what the king likes. And the Bible says he told her, say this, do this, wear this, don't do that. Walk like this, pour his wine like this. Come on, somebody. And after a year of them rubbing on her and, uh, and all the girls and massaging them out, and getting their skin soft and nice and teaching them how to speak. Remember, if you go over to study the Bible in one year, we talked about Daniel and the, the, the Hebrew boys, how they the king wanted to see them and it was three years. They had to be learning how to speak the tongue of the king, how to address the king, how to walk what to say, how to bow. They all had to be in training for three years before they went before the king. Now, I know some of y'all gonna say Joel is not no king. And I told y'all, take Joel out of the picture. Take him out. <clears throat> in every man is a king and a fool. Some of y'all say king, because you know y'all sisters, every man you meet is a king. I met my king, K-A-N-G, uh-uh. In every man is a king and a fool. And the one you talk to is the one you will get. And ladies, we need to learn how to speak, okay? Hookie Ray Ray Tyrone, 
hope Mr. Hobo, sexual builder male, fixer upper, all those men, beta males that need you for what you got is going to put up with you talking to them like little boys just long enough until they get on their feet and then they're going to tell you, kiss my. But when you meet a man that don't need you for what you got, he needs you for your femininity, for your graciousness, for your beautiful speech. Uh, the Apostle Paul said, let your words be seasoned with salt. Let it be a sweet fragrance. How many of y'all know? Y'all need to learn how to speak to the king in that man. There is a difference between Pookie, Ray Ray, Tyrone, and Russell. Huh? There's a difference between Pookie, Ray Ray, Tyrone, and the Proverbs 31 man. And if you don't know how to talk to the man when you meet, they will laugh and have a good time with you. And then you won't hear from them. How many times y'all done went out with a guy? Oh my God, we had such a beautiful time. We had a wonderful time. Conversation was, was lit. Conversation was lit. You ain't heard from him no more. So when he said that, I totally understand what Joe mean. You can't talk to him like you talk to me. Uh -uh, they don't want that. I have to go. I love you. Do you need to learn how to talk to a king? I have to go. Remember my son. I'm going to test the question my aunt. The Naked White Moments of Gratitude series, In Christ I Am series, and 10 Years a Girlfriend is my newest baby that I need y'all. Let me your love and support. Continue putting those reviews. Amazon hasn't updated any reviews since the second. I think it's them. It's not you. Check your mailboxes. A lot of you should be getting books this week. I love you. Bye.